everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a DIY for these three different lace-up t-shirts. I've been obsessed with these and I wanted to show you guys how I made my own. The first t-shirt I'm going to show you guys how to make is this front lace-up one. These are so trendy right now. You've probably seen people wear these all over the internet and they can be pretty pricey. So I'm going to show you how I made mine for less than $5. For all three of these DIYs, you're going to need an oversized t-shirt which I thrifted, some grommet trim which you can get online or in a fabric store, some string, as well as scissors. Try on your t-shirt and mark how far down you want the V to go and mark that with some chalk and then connect it to the collar. You should have a long triangle shape like this and then you're just going to cut it out but do not cut off the collar. Now with your grommet trim, you're going to measure and cut to the length of your triangle and do that on both sides. At the tip of the triangle where the two trims meet, you're going to want to make sure that you cut it straight across so that you get a clean edge. Now it's time to attach the grommet trim to the t-shirt. So you can either go completely no sew and fabric glue it, all you have to do is make sure you put a piece of cardboard or something in between the shirt so you don't glue it, or you can be like me and sew it. I just sewed it because I didn't have fabric glue and I, I know how to sew so it's not that big of a deal, but if you do sew, make sure you pin it all together so that the edges are all lined up. When you're done gluing or sewing your shirt, all that's left to do is lace it up. I eventually realized that the easiest way to do this is to roll up a piece of tape at the end of your string so that you have something to thread the string through with, if that makes sense. I laced up my shirt downward so that I could tuck in the loose ends, but now my shirt is complete. Guys, can we just appreciate how well this shirt turned out? I think it's so cute and grungy, and I'm just completely obsessed with it. The next shirt I'm going to show you guys how to make is this shoulder lace-up one, which is one of my favorites because it's really unique and I haven't really seen a lot of people have shirts like this before. Just like the first DIY, you're going to start off with a t-shirt. This is actually a t-shirt dress, and you're going to mark a line from the collar of the shirt to underneath the armpit of the shirt. Next, you're going to need to draw a parallel line below these two guidelines. Mine was about an inch and a half below. You should end up with these two long rectangles on the front of your shirt that you can then cut out. And again, for this DIY, do not cut the collar. Next, measure and cut your grommet trim. You're going to need four pieces, and the grommet trim on the bottom is actually going to be longer than the grommet trim on the top. But all you have to do is measure and cut accordingly, making sure that they're all lined up. And just like the last DIY, you can either fabric glue these together or pin and sew. Now to tie it all together, see what I did there? You're just going to cut out pieces of string to lace up your shirt. I left this clip of me lacing up the shirt so you guys could see sort of the method that I'm using to tie it up because I know that there can be various ways to lace up things. But yeah, that's how you make this shoulder lace up shirt. I think it's so cool. Just adds a little edgy touch to your outfit. And I honestly think it looks like I bought it like this. And the last variation I'm going to show you guys how to make is this side lace-up shirt, which I think is so cool. I mean, I think all of these shirts make you look effortlessly cool, but this one especially. First step in this DIY is to cut the side of your shirt, and you can go as high or low as you want. And as you can see from the side of my shirt, you're going to have to cut out a rectangle shape. Measure and cut your grommet trim to the length that you want it. I decided not to go to the very bottom of the shirt and just keep it shorter so it looks more split. And then again, you guys probably know this by now, fabric glue or sew. So for the lace-up design in this one, you can kind of see how I'm doing it. I'm starting from underneath. So it gives you like a downward V shape. And since there's nothing to tuck the loose ends of the string into, just tie it into a bow or you can leave them hanging, whatever you want. And that's how you make this side lace-up shirt. As you can see, it was so easy to make. Probably the easiest out of the three. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this DIY. This is actually probably one of my favorite DIYs I've ever done. I always get compliments whenever I wear these shirts, and I love them. So let me know which one is your favorite down below. And make sure you follow me on all of my social medias, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.